Hello there. By re-entering the negotiations between Russia and Ukraine, a post-poisoning Roman Abramovich must either be a sucker for punishment, a genuine peace broker, or a man who just wants his yacht and football club back. I can't really hold an opinion either way when it comes to Roman Abramovich because there must be some high personal stakes at play here for him to re-enter negotiations straight after he was allegedly poisoned. And by whom? Yet here he is back in fresh peace talks in Istanbul, in face-to-face -face talks. Personally, I'd be wearing a full nuclear, biological and chemical defence suit and respirator into any face-to-face -face negotiations going forwards between Russia and Ukraine, after Abramovich and two Ukrainian negotiators apparently exhibited signs of being poisoned in earlier talks. But who did the poisoning? Especially as the investigative website Bellingcat says it happened on Ukrainian soil. Now, it would be extremely easy to just jump up and down and say, it was Putin what done it. But how far would Zelensky go to drag the US into the war on his side, especially given what Biden said recently about Russia potentially using chemical weapons? And the US might concur with that, given that one US official did try to throw doubt on the poisoning claims. Did it ever happen? Or was it Russia testing the water? As much as I distrust Putin, I am also very distrustful when it comes to Volodymyr Zelensky. His democratic values have been sorely lacking over the last few years, whatever you think of him in this war. But the fact that Abramovich is at the peace talks suggests there is either a financial reason for him to be risking his life, or he has a genuine belief in peace at the risk of his own life, or there is the barrel of a gun at his back. Maybe it's a combination of all three, but the one thing it does suggest is that peace may now be very much on the Russian agenda. With the propaganda wars in full power mode right now, the only thing I know is that I don't trust any side, whether it be Ukraine, Russia or anyone else putting their oar in. So who the peace brokers are and who the instigators of atrocities are is far from clear. What I do know is that innocent people are dying in Europe right now and that means someone is the enemy. The question is who and it might not be as obvious as you may think. <laughs>